Hello everyone. This is the continuation topic. Uh, in the previous lecture, I finished with the critical region. A region in, in the sample space S which amounts the rejection of H0 is called critical region. Rejection of H0. H0 is a null hypothesis. H0 means a definite statement about a definite statement about population parameter for applying tests of significance is called null hypothesis. A region in which uh, in the sample space H which amounts the rejection of H0 is called critical region. The rejection of H0 is called critical region. Remember now important definitions level of significance to do the problem. This is very much important level of significance LOS. Level of significance. What is mean by level of significance? Uh, I will tell you. <coughs> it is the maximum probability of making type 1 error. It is the maximum probability of making type 1 error. Generally, we use 5% level of significance or 1% level of significance. Now, generally, we will always use 5%. They will specify in the examination either 5% or 1%. If they did not specify anything, you have to take by default 5% of level of significance. Now, type 1 error, type 2 error means, type 1 error means reject H0 when H0 is true. Type 2 error is accept H0 when H0 is wrong. Uh, when H0 is wrong, you have to accept H0. When H0 is uh, uh, true, reject H0. Remember, now, generally we use 5% and 1% level of significance, LOS, level of significance. 5% of level of significance, LOS, means there are 5%, 5% chance in 100%. We are likely to reject a correct null hypothesis. We are likely to reject a correct null hypothesis H0. We are 95 percent, we are 95 percent confident that we have made a correct decision. Both are same. That means 5 percent chances are there to reject. There are 5 percent of level of significance. What is mean by 5 percent of level of significance means there are 5% chance in 100%. That means we are likely to reject a correct null hypothesis H0 or we are 95% 95% confident that we have made a correct decision. Example is now bell shaped curve. Now bell shaped curve if you draw like this, it is a bell shaped curve Z is equal to 0. Now minus Z minus Z alpha and the plus Z alpha critical region only 5% this is the critical region the complete one is accepted region this is critical region that means a rejected region 5% level of significance now one tail and two tailed tests the critical region for all alternative hypothesis containing the symbol greater than one tailed what is mean by one tailed what is mean by two tailed I am explaining the critical region for all alternative hypothesis, alternative hypothesis H1 containing the symbol greater than lies entirely in the right tail of the distribution, right tail of the distribution, uh, entirely lies in the right uh, tail of the distribution while the critical region of the alternative hypothesis containing the symbol less than lies entirely in the left side of the tail. See, uh, using the diagrams, I will show you. The critical region of alternative hypothesis, the critical region of alternative hypothesis with the symbol is not equal to, with the symbol is not equal to, is called two-tailed test. Not equal to is called two tailed test and the region is split into two equal parts. Now see the right tail test, left tail test, two tail test. Diagrams I am showing you. Bell shaped curve P of Z greater than Z alpha. P of Z greater than Z alpha is equal to alpha. Right tail. It is right entirely it is <coughs> occurs entirely right side of the bell shaped curve. The symbol is Z greater than Z alpha. 
this is the accepted region this is the rejected region now left tail test this is the bell shaped curve in the bell shaped curve uh, it lies entirely in the left side of the left side of the region rejected region rejection uh, rejected region accepted region z p of z less than minus z alpha is equal to alpha this is less than symbol now two tail test two tail test z is equal to 0 bell shaped curve z is equal to 0 rejected rejected region this side and this side this is the accepted region rejected region here also rejected region minus z alpha plus z alpha this is the rejected region rejected region this side as well as this side now this is the accepted region this is the two tail test the next one is critical value z alpha level of significance alpha level of significance alpha critical value from the table we have got the values while doing the problems uh, this table we, we may use this table two tailed test 1% means how much 5% means how much 10% means how much right tailed test 1% means how much 5% means how much 10% left tailed test 1% means how much level of significance 5% means how much from the table we we have got this one left tail test two tail test as well as left tail test 1% means how much 5% to do the problem to complete the problem these values from the table we have got and we wrote here by heart this one otherwise from the tables also you will get decision rule or test of hypothesis now one more definition few more definitions followed by decision rule or test of hypothesis given hypothesis h0 and an alternative hypothesis h1 alternative hypothesis always h1 null hypothesis h0 we make a rule which is known as a decision rule according to which we accept h0 or reject h0 by comparing the critical value and the critical uh, uh, by comparing the critical value and the calculated value we reject or accept the null hypothesis at 1% or 5% or 10% level of significance let z be the calculated value z alpha be the table value then to do the problem this is very much important to do the problems from now onwards calculated value table value let z be the calculated value z alpha be the table value then two tail test if mod z less than z alpha accepted h0 else reject h0 right tail test if z less than z alpha accept h0 else reject h0 left tail test if z greater than or equal to greater than or equal to z alpha accept h0 otherwise else reject h0 to do the problems we can use uh, while doing the problems i will tell you procedure for hypothesis testing hypothesis testing procedure to do the problems procedure for hypothesis testing first step make a formal statement that is set up null hypothesis by the given data by using the given data formal statement that means set up a null hypothesis by the given data from the given problem you can set up a null hypothesis second point uh, make an alternative hypothesis quite opposite whatever is the null hypothesis whatever the null hypothesis is there then quite opposite alternative hypothesis set up a null alternative hypothesis also third point is specify the level of significance specify a level of significance if they specify in the exam in the problem itself 5% or 1% like that you use that one if they did not specify anything default by default you have to take 5% of level of significance compute the test static that means you have to calculate and then calculate uh, conclusion you have to write the conclusion this is the procedure after that application of one and two tailed tests applications where we have to use this one tail and two tailed tests application of one and two tailed test just to see where we have to apply all these things 
we will see and after that we will go to the problems application of one and two tail tests in a in a particular problem whether one tail or two tail tests to be applied it depends entirely on the nature of the depends entirely on the nature of the alternative hypothesis if the alternative hypothesis is two tailed we apply two tailed test if alternative hypothesis is one tailed we apply one tailed test the uh, in the pop, uh, particular problem whether it is wanted it is entirely up, depends entirely on the nature of the alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis a two tail apply two tail if it is a one tail we have to apply one tail test example see the example suppose that suppose that there are two population brands of bulbs two population there are suppose that there are two population brands of bulbs one manufactured by standard process standard process with mean life and uh, with mean life mu1 and the other manufactured by some new technique with mean life mu2 if we want to test if the bulbs differ significantly then our null hypothesis is h0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2 and the alternative hypothesis is h1 is equal to mu1 is not equal to mu2 if we want to test if the bulbs differ significantly then if we want to test the bulbs differ significantly then our null hypothesis is h0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2 alternative is h1 mu1 is not equal to mu2 if we want to test if the bulbs produced by new process we have high we have higher average life than those produced by the standard process then we have h0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2 and h1 mu1 less than mu2 left tail test if we want to test if the product of a new process is inferior to that of the standard process then h0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2 h1 is mu1 greater than mu2 right tail test the decision the decision about applying a two tail test or a single tail test will depend on the problem under study like this you have to decide thank you thank you